Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are taking a look at the NHL standings, specifically in the Pacific Division and where I think we are going to see playoffs. Where are we going to see playoffs and postseason hockey in the Pacific Division? We're going to go over that today. So taking a look at the NHL standings, um, you're kind of looking right now at you know, it's pretty heavy up top, and then you've got a couple of teams that are in the mix, but it's a little bit more uncertain. You may be wondering, what are you talking about? So we're looking in the Pacific, and you've got the Vegas Golden Knights leading the way and the Los Angeles Kings. Those are your top two teams. Then you've got the Seattle Kraken, which are actually a very good hockey team right now. Then you've got Calgary, Edmonton, and then to a very lesser extent, the Vancouver Canucks. So when I look at those top four teams, that's really, or five teams, the top five teams, they're still playoff aspirations. And again, I think with Vancouver's situation, it's still to be determined. They're going to wait a little bit longer here. But if I'm looking at this thing right now, if I'm a Vegas Golden Knights fan, Kings fan, or Kraken, it looks like they're going to make the playoffs. And I think Calgary and Edmonton will have to battle it out for one of those wild card spots. And there's no guarantee that both of those teams or either of those teams actually end up making the playoffs. And I think a lot of that has to do with the depth of the Central Division this year, which is also an issue here because there's three teams in the Central Division right now that are very much on the case for making the playoffs. And it's going to make things more difficult for the teams here in the Pacific. So if I had to guess, I have Vegas making the playoffs, LA making the playoffs, as crazy as this sounds, I think Seattle's going to get in there, and I think one of those teams, either Calgary or Edmonton, and I honestly think that it's the team that makes the biggest move at the deadline. And again, that's kind of a cop-out, you could say that, but I think the Oilers are the team here. You know, Calgary has not looked like the team they were last year, and they've made a couple of moves here. They got, you know, they lost Kachuk, they lost Goudreau. It seems like they've kind of been stumbling out of the gate, just trying to re- identify their identity. They've definitely been playing better recently, but they aren't the Edmonton Oilers here. And if the Oilers goaltending is for real and Skinner is playing the way he is and able to do that the rest of the year, or Jack Campbell can continue to do what he's done, I don't see any spot here where the Edmonton Oilers missed the playoffs. So those are my four teams. I'm going with Vegas, LA, Seattle, and the Edmonton Oilers. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys think will end up making the playoffs? It's definitely a division of the haves and the have-nots. You know, the div the gap between Vancouver and Edmonton is a 10-point gap between 6th and 5th in this division, which is absolutely insane. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.